Hi guys, welcome to another installment of the Digital Kitchen. Today I am joined by Stephen and we're going to talk about all things Bravalo. So Stephen, thank you very much for coming down and joining me at the NCC today. We are obviously talking about all things Bravalor. What's the history of Bravalor? What do you do? Uh, what's, uh, yeah, tell us Bravalor. the story. Uh, born in 1948, just after the Second World War, we're a Dutch company. Everything is produced in-house. Uh, it started off in Amsterdam, and the current factory is around 45 minutes north, uh, north of Amsterdam in a town called Hurgewagen. <laughs> Don't say that in uh, you know, a tongue twire. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of a tongue twister, yeah. but actually Dutch. Uh, and they, all they do is produce table stop, tabletop coffee machines. Okay. Yeah, we've got obviously a, a range here on the stand. So do, should we talk through this, what we've yeah. got here? So we will start off on our filter coffee range, which okay. you will see in front of us here. All available through Nisbets. Uh, we will start with the Novo. Okay. Uh, this is our economical filter coffee machine. So simple to operate, hand filled water jugs in, filter pan. This is available through Nisbets. Two glass jugs, unit, does what it says on the tin. It's just a filter is, coffee machine. I'd say this is the machine you see pretty much any sort of hotel, any B&B, place like Anywhere. that. Anywhere. Always see these machines in yeah, there. The, and I guess the, the hot plate on top, I guess so that's to keep the, correct. the coffee warm. Yeah, so, so, so yeah, just double hot plate. Yeah. So when yeah. you're really busy, up there and down there. So this sort of machine, I guess you can use any beans, anything, any sort it's of... It's filter coffee, no beans, no it's beans. filter coffee. So you... So filter paper, Yep. Filter, uh, filter coffee, 50 to 60 grams of filter coffee, in there, done, on. And let it come through. And let it come on. Two switches there. Simple, Simple as that. That's Perfect. what it says on the tin. So what's we got? What's the next machine I'll go to looks very similar, yep. but there are some differences between the two. And you'll see that when you look at the prices of them. The, no, uh, the Mondo is stainless steel, once again, hand-fed, yep. twin hot plate, but the unit has two little lights on the front, one of which is a light that illuminates when this machine needs descaling. Okay. It's very important with all coffee machines to have a regular descale, because that's what helps maintain the maintenance of the yeah. machine. Simple yeah, so as that. I guess it's like a kettle at home, isn't it? So how that is operated on, within the water boiler, there are two very clever, like fine hairs of steel. And as lime scale builds up on those steel, the force gets reduced. And as it gets reduced, it knows it needs a descale because there is lime scale being built on. It's a very simple process of doing a descale on this machine. Other differences are steel, more plastic. So much more rigid piece of equipment but you've got the twin hot plates at the top and at the bottom. Very clever on the hot plate on the top. Reason being, this hot plate will not get hot unless it's got weight on it. Okay, so energy saving. So it's an energy saving unit. Also, it only gets to the heat that will heat the amount of coffee that's currently in the jug. So it will be on full heat if this is up to two cup, 12 cups. If we're down to like two or four cups, less heat because you don't need it and it wastes energy. How, what sort of time can you leave it on there hot? Is there a sort of a maximum? Uh, once you've made filter coffee, realistically, you should be looking at 40 minutes. Okay. Filter coffee and then pour it away and then produce a new filter coffee if you want to produce really nice filter coffee on yep. an ongoing basis. Okay, perfect. So I guess, we, yeah, moving swiftly on. Swiftly on. Once again, all filter range. Uh, this machine here is the TH. Uh, Nisbets are now stocking two versions of this unit, the TH and the THA. The difference between the two is the TH is hand fed with water, so manually fed again. Okay. The THA requires a mains water supply, so that is a plumbed in version. But it's very simple to operate, exactly the same as all these three units here. Steel, sprung base, filter paper in, filter coffee in, switcher on, and the air pot. Yeah. The air pot is sold separately to the actual unit. So always make sure if you're ordering a TH, order, order a couple of air pots because these are the units that go in conference rooms, anywhere where you need to transport 2.2 litres of filter coffee. Very simple to operate. 
very simple to keep clean, all clicks, all screens. This unit here uh, has a patented part on it, if you can believe it. It's the lip. Okay. The way that is shaped is patented to Bravalor, and what it actually does, it produces no drips. So as you beautifully pump your coffee away here, you don't get any drips coming onto your nice conference table. Try and think like that. Very, very simple, but very effective. Very <laughs> simple, to, very sim such a simple process to produce beautiful filter coffee yeah. to take to any requirements. Yeah, absolutely. And as you will see moving down the line, the big boy, the smallest <laughs> of our big boys. <laughs> right, okay. Okay, it's RB series. Within the Nisbet's uh, website and catalog, you will find an array of B series from the B5 to the B10 to the B20 to the B40. The B40 is the big beast. Okay. The B40 would take up the space of this complete counter along here. Right. And you can think of 40 litres of filter coffee. So large venues and large uh, Oh, these units you will find in most hotels, the majority of hotels across the United Kingdom. Mm -hmm. uh, they're just a bit of kit that is produced beautifully to produce filter coffee. Simple process is you turn her on, you remove the lid, various clunks, B5 filter paper. The amount of filter coffee to go in there could be between 100 to 120 grams. Depends on what coffee you're using. Simply put it on there. Under there, you've got a small spray head. Clunker on there. Swing the arm over. Press five liters. And away we go. The machine can be set to produce up to one liter, three liter, four liter, five liter. So depending on your venue, your room, how many seat coverings you've got to offer to the public. Uh, but these machines are used in all hotels for when they've got low, huge functions attending. So big hotels might have the B10, uh, next style it's B20. So it's simple process. B5 is a bolt brew, five liters, a B10, it's 10 litres, B20. It's a pattern, exactly. Yeah, it's a <laughs> it even gets even more clever when you look at the HW. Hot water. How did you guess? <laughs> well done you, Chris. Handshake. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes. You're all week. You've passed. <laughs> so HW gives you a separate hot water tap, which allows you to produce your pots of tea yeah. at the same time. But breakfast serve, filter it into there. There are other facilities you can get from this. You can get pipes, you can get pipe fed. Um, it does what it does, it says on the tin. It's just a filter coffee machine, mains water boiler. This is a single urn, but you can also get, if you can believe it, a double urn version. So you can have two B5s next to each other, two B10s, and it's just literally swinging the arm. Can you get multiple connector. urns on this system? So if I wanted this machine, can I get two of these urns and just take one off and put another one on, or does it not work like that? You could, Okay. you could, but I would only ever move myself i would only ever move the b5 version okay. because it's a yeah, big bigger one it's gonna be a lot heavier so lot, lot, lot heavier yeah. yeah but once again within if you went to bravalor.com you will see other versions available where they can be moved also this unit here could be connected to a wall so hospitals are uh, find this quite useful for when they're doing ward rounds will connect to a b series which is you can find on www.bravalor.com look at the b series range and you will find units that will allow you to move it around okay perfect okay i guess are these all um i guess these will be but are they all on 13 amp plugs 13 amp plugs single phase okay or as you get to the larger versions three phase okay these units are hardwired have to be hardwired in great question okay perfect oh great uh yeah again something for everyone I guess is the is the bottom line here very much so um, and the only unit I left off from this list here was just to go here it's a percolator okay it's basically percolated coffee it's as simple as 13 amp plug socket again yep twist remove filter coffee in there lower the lid twist connect done gauge glass will produce the amount of coffee you need. Percolated coffee does have a little bit of a different taste to filter coffee. Mm -hmm. Some people like percolated coffee, some people like filter coffee. It's your own personal choice. So does that drop down into the, to push the, uh, the coffee to the base? Though? It's basically steam, steam from the boiler. So hot yep. water comes up, steams through, dribbles through the small little holes there, which dribbles onto the filter coffee, which is found in there. And you'll find underneath there a steel 
filter, uh, okay. which removes, and, comes... and that's ah. simple, simple, but again, effective. Very simple, very simple and easy process. Interesting. Perfect. Done. Well, I guess that's a quick overview of what's on this side. Should we go over to the next side and see what's on there? Why not? Let's have Perfect. a go. Let's go. Right, so we've got to the other side of the stand just by magic, so the joys of editing. So, I guess these are automated machines. You see these are touch screens and things like that. So should we talk through the range? They are indeed. I'll start off with this unit here before we look at other bits of accessories that are available. Yep. Here you've got the new Bolero range from Bravelor, launched in 2021 but nobody was around in 2021 because of the <laughs> pandemic. So that's with 2022. This is brand new, basically. Uh, within the unit, you will find four instant canisters, three mixed bowls. So that I know that this is the Bolero 43. Okay. Once again, we're good with our numbers. So four canisters, two for coffee, one for a milk, and one for an instant chocolate or an instant tea. It's completely up to you. With the new programmable touch screen, which you will find on the, on the front, mm -hmm. you can program this machine up to 36 different coffee drinks okay. or different hot beverages of your choice. It's a very simple process as well now with the operation of pressing a small little button at the back, just up here. It opens up the maintenance screen, it opens up the drinks menu. It, uh, the, all your functions are all through this screen here. It also now contains a USB portal just in there. So this is where you can stick your logo, your company brand, the Nisbets logo, because we all love Nisbets, yep. in this window here, and we're away. But it is an instant coffee machine. I guess if you set this up as well um, to do a certain, you know, your drinks, whatever you've set it up for, if you've got another unit, could you transfer those recipes on the USB to the other one? Correct. Yep, perfect. Absolutely. Okay. And within the range, we start with the Bolero 11, which is your hot chocolate machine. Bolero 11, one instant canister to one mixer bowl. Okay. We have a Bolero 21, which is two instant canisters to one mixer bowl. And we also have a Bolero 32, which is three containers to two mix bowls. The 32 just contains a very large coffee, so you've got coffee, milk, and chocolate. No option for an instant tea in that version. Okay. But they're all available through Nisbets. Perfect, and I guess that's just um, water feed? Correct, direct water filled. And like with any hot water machine, please install a mains water filter. Lime scale is the killer of all hot machines just look at your kettle at home yeah see that beautiful lime scale especially in london <laughs> very hard water yeah. so correct mains water supply straight in 13 amp plug socket okay perfect. so it's very much out of the box plugger in plumber in program away you're done in terms of support from bravel so if i, I don't know say i've got a cafe and i want to buy this machine i yep. bought it is there any after sales, any support and things like that you guys offer uh well we would recommend that this is uh, also sold with an install package okay uh, so for a price which can be quoted uh, on the uh, request uh, for an install, we can arrange an installation and an engineer will come out and install on your behalf and would program the machine up for you and would set the machines to your drink levels, would do everything that you want this machine for a price. Perfect, perfect, so excellent. We move, so we've done filter, we've done instant coffee, we're now on the, the lovely bean to cut range. I. You can see me caressing this. I was going to say, you get very I excited. Lo here. I love this machine. Do you want to have a moment? Should we come back? <laughs> <laughs> I love this machine. This is the Bolero Sago 12. Once again, remembering with the numbers, the 12 is for one bean hopper and two instant canisters. Okay. Okay. One bean milk, I guess? Or Correct. Yeah. yeah. So you're looking at beans, chocolate, milk skimmed bag. milk, granulated milk product. Ideally, mix a bowl for your milk producer products. This is the brewer system. This is the magic of this machine, is this patented Serco brewer. The way it produces coffee and produces an espresso is just out of this world. And I love coffee. Beans in the hopper goes through a steel grinder, which is found beneath. The chute allows the coffee grouts into the group head. I would go very coffee here now, calling it group head. 
you will then press espresso and you will see the Serco Brewer rotates around and if you went to www.bravelor.com you can find YouTube videos of the Serco Brewer in operation also through Bravelor looking on YouTube we have a YouTube channel okay. which will assist you on that process produces the espresso which then would dispense into your cup simple as that the machine can be programmed up to 30 different coffee drinks it has a sliding screen so once this is full it just opens up yet another page within this machine you can program it for espresso cappuccino latte flat white americano hot water fresh milk you could also program this to do a double espresso if you wish the world is your oyster on this once again it's a simple process of pressing the button at the back which opens up the programming menu we also have a usb uh, capability in here removing that plug there that then allows you as you mentioned on the bolero to transpose the settings from this machine to a range to another one yep. to another <clears throat> one and i have found this very useful uh, since coming back from the pandemic a lot of establishments are removing their traditional bits of kit, weirdly, because of staff and because of training. This machine does it all for you. Okay. All your member of staff has to do is know how to press a button. Yeah. But once again, with any bean to cut machine, cleaning. I was going to say it looks. Yeah. It looks very a lot going on there. So is it quite difficult to clean, or is it just very much the same with most bean to cups? If you've got, got a right? finger you can just press the button it tells you what to do you must on a daily basis do a brewer clean but you would do a brewer clean on the traditional yeah. bit of kit yeah. and you must do a flush the flush literally takes one minute on this machine okay and all it does is just flush hot water through the mix bowl hot water through the brewer system it tells you everything that you need to do to get this machine operating and as long as you keep this machine clean it will just go on and on and on okay is it one size or can you get bigger ones well Within the Sago, there is just one size. Okay. But then we move to the daddy of our bean to cut range, which is the Espressus. The Bravelor Espressus has been around now for seven years, eight years potentially. So it's got a longevity, it's got a history. This machine has the differences a ceramic grinder is okay. built in. So ceramic grinder over steel grinder, ceramic grinder will never go blunt. It will just go on and on and on. Also within this machine, you have a steel brewer, whereas in the Sago it's a plastic brewer. But I do love the Sago brewer. <laughs> we can never tell. <laughs> <laughs> within this machine here, this is the container that would catch your coffee, uh, coffee cakes yep. after it's been all brewed, but it's exactly the same. You will see here as well, pressure vessel sensor so this will normally be set at about one bar as soon as you produce a coffee you will see this shoot up to eight to nine bar of water pressure going through the coffee cake ceramic ground brewer tamped double tamp pre-soak dispense arm produces glorious espresso you can program this machine up to eight different coffee drinks which i think is all you need yeah. Yeah, so you've got literally coffee, espresso, <laughs> americano, cappuccino, latte, uh, mocha, uh, flat white, hot water. Everything is, can be programmed through this machine. Similarly with all the Bravelo bits of kit, push button here, differences on this machine. This contains an SD slot. So if you want to transpose the settings from this to a separate machine, SD card in, transfer the settings, okay. move it to another machine plug in and away we go in terms of like number of drinks per hour or so to speak so somebody's looking at maybe yep. getting this machine and they've got you know a large restaurant or a hotel or what have you what sort of numbers can this machine produce if we can step back and go to the Sago yeah. we are looking between 60 to 100 drinks per day okay if we go to the uh, espresso you're looking between 100 to 200 drinks per day okay but it's more per clean so this machine could do 60 to 100 drinks do a clean, do another 60 to 100 drinks. It's more keeping the machine clean, making sure the coffee cakes are removed. If you keep them clean, they would just go on and on. So yeah. you can do more than the numbers that I've stated, but it depends on the cleaning yeah. ratio. Well, so after, a, after a busy breakfast, lunch, dinner service, yeah. do your cleans, 
it's reset up again for the next day. Yeah, okay, perfect. And again, power wise, 13 amp? 13 amp. Perfect. 13 amp plug socket. Um, and then little accessories to have with this unit here. We produce uh, warming racks for your cups. Okay. Because we don't want to dispense beautiful no. bean to cup coffee into a stone cold china cup. Literally, very small, 110 volt, small little heating element. Just warms up the cups yeah. to allow you to produce coffee into a nice warmed cup. Perfect. And then further accessories, multiple colours. But if you go to www.nisbits.co.uk, you will see many more accessories yeah. for all these pieces of equipment that I've just presented today. So the machines are here, is there anything else that's in the range that we've not sort of seen due to like milk frothers and things like that? Or No, everything, literally, just the literally everything. Is, if, if the stand was bigger, then we show bigger versions of the B series. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I guess it's a name that you see everywhere. And certainly the machines over there the, with the coffees are oh, sat on top and things. Mm -hmm. uh, I've seen these, I've used these in hotels. Um, it's just, it's just the name, isn't it really? The it is. Name. Yeah, the Bra um, Bravalor, Bravalor name is synonymous with filter coffee. Yeah. Uh, it's sold all over the world. We have offices all over Europe. Uh, we have an office in the USA. Yeah. Uh, so these bits of kit you will see everywhere. I guess as well as obviously we're at the NCEC today, I've got my kitchen here, which is a great facility. And if somebody is interested in seeing these machines, is it, you know, is it a case of can we set one up and yeah. have a go with it in the kitchen? Yeah, very simple. Um, Just to plumb in some water, chuck some coffee beans in there. And see how it performs. So yeah, if, you know, if you're interested in something like this and you're looking at coffee machines, they, they are an investment, absolutely. So you want to make sure you're going to get the right one for your business. And this is where you know people like Stephen are really you know you want to pick their brains. You know you've been doing it for a long time now. You know everyone has no name numbers because we you know. But you know if we can siphon all that information out of you and you know get the best we can for their customer, it's exactly what it's about. Um, and today I guess is a you know this is a recorded session on the stand here at the NCC. But this is here permanently. You know welcome to come down and see the machines in in person, mm -hmm. uh, which is great. Um, but we'll try and do a, a live session soon. So we're yep. going to you know do some live. Uh, well, it'd be lovely. It would be lovely to bring. Coffee to bring one of these machines yeah, into absolutely. your kitchen here, connect it to some water, chuck some beans, so you can actually see the espresso coming out of this cup, yeah. seeing it settle like a pint of Guinness. It's just amazing. The crema that you will receive from these bits of kit yeah. is incredible. Yeah. And if you're a coffee geek, come along. Yeah. <laughs> Please. We've got our in-house coffee geek, Mr. Mark Feel, uh, so he, uh, we'll get him on the case and he, yeah. can, he can be our connoisseur and really taste the difference, hopefully. It's the way of making uh, bean to cup coffee yeah. in an instant. Yeah, absolutely. So, as you say, skill sets and stuff yeah. like that is great because you get a really good high quality coffee without having the, you know, the barista and all the, the, all the training. Just going exactly yeah. that. And yeah. there's a lot more, you know, a lot of stuff to go wrong with those machines and, and they are so. expensive. So yeah. yeah, this is definitely a sort of a one-stop shop, I guess, which ticks all the boxes. Yeah. But I guess, yeah, I guess that's a quick overview really, you know, what we've been 20 minutes maybe, but there's so much more we could talk about. Certainly oh. when it comes to coffee, you know, it's an endless subject, you know, especially some of the anorak people who really delve into it. Um, yeah. Uh, you know, I always learn something new when I speak to people like yourself because um, it is such a massive, massive market. But no, but thank you so much for coming down no, to the NCC today. No, thank you for today. inviting me. No, that's been great. Um, yeah, we shall do some, co uh, some cooking. We shall do some brewing soon, live, uh, and we'll get some, uh, some tasters on the go. Super. Some wide eyes. But yeah, no, thank, thank you so you. much for coming down. You're welcome. And we'll speak Thanks to you for inviting me. Yeah. Cheers, bye. Cheers, guys. So thank you very, very much for watching this video, guys. Uh, if you've got any questions, the uh, details are in the comments as always. Uh, get in touch. Uh, and I can reach out to Stephen if I don't know the answer. But as I said, Machines are here, come down to the NCC and have a look. So guys, again, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, for more information on the digital kitchen at the NCC and facility hire, visit the website or give us a call. Details on this are below. And don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for regular updates on the digital kitchen. Thanks for watching guys, see you on the next one.